This is the TV News, the industry's only daily video report. Brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative needs, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution. Welcome to the TVnews.tv for Friday, March 5th, and here are today's top stories. Senator John Kerry has weighed in on the WABC-TV Cablevision retransmission impasse, which could effectively cause 3 million New Yorkers to miss the Oscars telecast this Sunday on Local Channel 7. Kerry has declared, quote, This game of chicken being played again and again between cable companies and broadcasters with consumers in the crosshairs must come to an end. Kerry has also urged both sides to remain at the bargaining table and continue WABC-TV's feed onto all Cablevision customers until a retrans agreement is reached. And this very subject is front and center as we close the feedback loop. Now, via our participation in many of the TV new media industry centric groups on LinkedIn, we asked, is it right or wrong for cable nets, broadcasters, and distributors to yank product or deny distribution during retransmission negotiations? The overwhelming response was, it's wrong. And specifically, regarding the WABC TV Cablevision feud, you sounded off with, quote, if ABC does pull its signal from Cablevision, it's going to do a lot more harm than good. And from the NCTA group, if WABC is not carried by Cablevision, will Channel 7 offer make goods to advertisers for under delivery? And from the Radio and Television Network group, I'm getting to the point where I might dump Cablevision for Dish Network. Well, that's an interesting thought, but Satellite has had its share of retrans woes, too. We thank everyone for responding to our LinkedIn polls. We'll keep asking the questions, and we hope you'll keep supplying the answers. Yesterday, we aired an analysis piece by edgy UK TV critic Tony Wamu, who turned out, in fact, to be an American actor and impressionist Jim Meskimen. We wanted to make a couple of corrections. First, Jim appeared in the compelling Tom Hanks vehicle Apollo 13. We said Apollo 11, and we apologize to Jim. And Jim would very much like for you to check him out on the Jim Meskimen YouTube channel. The Sports TV News is brought to you by Store & Associates, sports and entertainment marketing specialists. Log on to storeandassociates.com and start connecting with sponsors and consumers. Who knew some 30 and a half years ago when fledgling cable TV network Entertainment Sports Programming Network, aka ESPN, launched SportsCenter, that it would become the king of TV preview and review sports shows. Well, SportsCenter has been challenged by the likes of CNN, Sports Illustrated, Ms. Lou, Fox, and many more, only to be soundly defeated. Now there's a new challenger to SportsCenter's absolute supremacy, fueled by Comcast Versus. Joining us today for his weekly report here on the Sports TV News is Eric Mackerlin. So Eric, who's throwing down the gauntlet and should your source for sports be worried? Well, I doubt that the folks at ESPN are worried, Jeff. The fact of the matter is, as you just outlined, there are plenty of other challengers who have stepped into the ring only to be vanquished one by one. You know, more recently, we've seen... Uh, We've seen uh, actors like Keith Olbermann when he left ESPN. He went to Fox Sports Net to try to take on ESPN. He failed. Now Fox is going with something called Fox Final Score on their regional sports networks. That's kind of just limping along and surviving, not really taking on ESPN. And like you, I'm sure, uh, I was a fan of CNN Sports Tonight in the long gone days of uh, Fred Hickman and Nick Charles. They've all come up, stepped up, and gone down. And they've uh, been unsuccessful when it comes to uh, taking on really the behemoth of television sports. And that's, of course, ESPN Sports Center. What's happening next is, is that Versus, owned by Comcast, is going to try its hand at another new program. And what ha what ha what's happened with Versus in the past when they've tried to produce their own programming, well, it's been hit and mostly miss. I'm sure you remember back in 2007, Dennis Miller tried his hand on cable sports television with Dennis, with Sports Unfiltered with Dennis Miller. It was canceled after only a few weeks on the air. Uh, versus more recently tried with something called Fanarchy, which was fans debating one another. It didn't last long either. And I think the one program that we're maybe a bit surprised is, you know, somehow gained some traction on uh, Versus has been Sports Soup, which seems to be struggling along and is maintaining some sort of an audience. 
Well, now Versus is going to try its hand again with some originally produced programming. It's going to debut on April 5th on the network, directly opposite Sports Center at 6 p.m. That's the danger zone. It's called The Daily Line. Now, Versus producer Andy Meyer talked with USA Today. He says that The Daily Line is not going to be your typical highlight program. You're not going to see guys in suits narrating highlights. Instead, they say they're going to seek to curate the web, a term which I'm pretty sure they cribbed from Tina Brown over at The Daily Beast, and to showcase what fans are talking about sports online. Well, I mean, that sounds like an interesting formula. Hosts are mostly unknown, with the exception of just one person. And I'm sure a lot of TV sports fans might know the name Jen Sturger. You'll remember how back in 2005 she became something of a national it girl after she was featured in a close-up during a Florida State football game. It was that night that Brent Musburger cracked 1,500 red-blooded Americans just applied to Florida State. Well, with all respect to Sturger, who's you know had some success of her own at Sports Illustrated and as the in-game host for the New York Jets, it's going to take a lot more than 1,500 red-blooded Americans to make the daily line a success. But we'll be watching to see what happens. Tune in April 5th at 6 p.m. for their first time out. Very good, Eric. We will keep our eyes peeled for that, and we'll let you know how that's doing as it launches and goes beyond. Uh, Eric, we will see you here next Friday with another report, and we hope, we hope we will see you uh, on either Facebook or Twitter or both at our Oscars interactive uh, party. Uh, can we see you there? Absolutely. Count me in. Very good. Thanks, Eric. Future events and opportunities brought to you by Dude Walker. Get the best voice. Get the best price. Get Dude at DudeWalker.com. The Oscars this Sunday, our interactive Oscars party on Facebook and Twitter for the entire TV industry this Sunday. Have a look. The TVnews.tv, along with Combridges.com, is inviting the entire TV industry to our interactive Oscars party on both Facebook and Twitter. We as an industry will comment in real time about anything and everything that happens and goes on in the Academy Awards telecast. And here's how you can join us. On Facebook, become a fan of the TV News. You can do this by clicking on this link at the TVnews.tv, or you can simply search the TVnews.tv on Facebook. For Twitter, simply go to twitter.com slash johncombridges slash Oscars. Then show up at Facebook or Twitter or both locations at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 Pacific on Sunday, March 7th, and join in on all the fun. Oh, and for Twitter, please hashtag all of your tweets with TTVN so they can be followed. We really hope to see you there, and please invite any and all of your colleagues. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. We'll be back on Monday with top news plus the big picture analysis and commentary. If you missed any editions this week of the TV News, just click on Archives on our site. And finally, if you want to learn about sponsorship opportunities here at the TVnews.tv, just click on this link or drop us an email at advertise at the TVnews.tv. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. Thanks for watching and go out and make it a great weekend. The TV News has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.